Hey guys, I'm John, he's Editor, and together we are Jedward, and we're here for Radio TV. In town to promote their third and latest album, Young Love, Irish twin brother duo Jedward talks about their new album and dealing with negative publicity. Hey, it's got different flavors in it, okay? It's got like three slow songs, Young Love, What It Feels Like, How Did You Know? And the rest of the album has like, like a dance song called Luminous, really, really cool. And then it's got the really songs that you can perform live and have a great time. The thing about this album is that for people who um, don't know us, when they listen to this album, it's a real feel good. There's no album fillers. Every single s- song could be a single. You've joined many talent competitions since you were young and then you were in Eurovision. So would you say you guys are very like competitive by nature? Yeah, uh, me and John's very first talent competition was we were in school and we sang Backstreet Boys, um, I Wanted That Way. And we won the competition and we were so excited. I think we, we, how much we, we won like, we won like, a pro- we won like I think it was 100 euro or something. Yeah. And our, all, all the girls in our class were like, whoa, oh my God, these guys are cool. Yeah, me and Eddard, we're, we're, I know, we're com- not competitive, but we, yeah, we just do our own thing. We're not competitive with anybody else. We just do all the things we can do to our best to, as we can. Okay, so let's talk about Eurovision. That was a few months ago. Yeah. Um, how did you find your performance? Were you satisfied? Yeah, I think in Eurovision it's really great because you're, there's so many people who watch Eurovision, which is really, really great. And like, I think we were real satisfied with our performance. We went out there, did our dance team, sang well. It got the highest viewers ever in Ireland. What has been the best moment in your three-year career so far? Um, well, the most important person we met, we met Barack Obama, and he, he thought we were really, really interesting. And because um, he met a lot of people, he met U2, and we were with um, U2, and it was us, and it was a script, we were there. I think our career, it's really exciting because we've been doing it for three years, and we still have so much more to do. Like, the thing is, we're always growing, we're always, everything we do, we're always growing. Like, we're always, always doing music, TV, presenting, radio shows, we're doing everything, and we're always, we're only 20 years old. I think it's, and, and I like record labels, and they help you, like, and, but me and John, we actually, make it happen like ourselves as well like we do like everything like, we're real independent we don't depend on anybody around us we do we do our own styling our own hair our, yeah we do we made, the, we made the music video for young love we did uh, we made it ourselves we recorded it we got one of these cameras and recorded it ourselves so yeah we're, we're, we're always like trying different things How much input do you have in, like, say, writing or the creative input in the songs? We need to have songs that we feel passionate about, so other people feel want to listen to it. Yeah, so like, we need so, the songs we have. They're they're like songs that we're going to be performing in concert and everything. We're going to be singing like hundreds of times. So yeah, they're really good. They're really good songs to perform on stage because when you're on stage, you need to have the energy. Like, how are you feeling tonight? Do you write songs? But at the moment, the songs that you write that, that they're um, they're still cool, but they're more kind of like acoustic and more kind of basics so, so like that's what we're gonna start doing loads of songwriting we're gonna start doing songwriting on our next album right but we want we want like we want like songs do you know um there's like you want the songs that the lyrics actually mean something because like, lo- lots of songs now are just repeating themselves like the like where have you been all my life <laughs> nowadays a song can be one sentence or like just a ma- an amazing beat and to say one little sentence the boys have had their fair share of critics in 2009, the media coined the term the Jetwood Paradox, claiming that even though Jetwood had many negative reviews in UK, they were still wildly successful. So how do the brothers deal with bad press? If, 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 you get, like, if people say things about you, it's, it, makes you, it makes you more determined to prove to those it people. It makes you stronger. It makes you, because like, I think you, it, makes, it makes you want to do more to kind of prove to those people like, yeah, I'm really, really good. Because sometimes people don't get it initially. And then maybe a year later, they'd be like, oh, my God, I love those guys. Those are people who are going to say things about you just, just to create conflict and different things. So you just got to just kind of, you know, you sort of care about your fans and do it for your fans and not do it for people who say mean things about you. And it never gets to you. No. I, I mean, John, like, in the beginning, it was like frustrating. In the beginning, because like you just you just realize that as long as your family and friends know that you're cool, then it doesn't really matter. Because the newspapers they they're only like they like they're like daily, so like your news one day and the next day you're not in the news. What gives you inspiration to keep on going? I think the thing that gives inspiration to keep going is realizing that there's so much fans out there that if we if we ever stopped, then they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. The, the thing that gives me inspiration is is um the fact that we're 
doing really positive things. We're like being there for like so many people or our fans and all the cool letters they write to I us. That, 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 Lots of fans, they might have been having like a bad time in school and they start being a Jared fan and they made like friends with other Jared fans. So it's like a huge network. Next up, the boys talk about the differences between the two of them and play a very interesting game of Would You Rather.